Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I am pretty sure the last time you said pedal to the metal, you didn't think of this. These are HD components pedals called Leopard and their tagline is pedal to the metal. These are used by Nino and quite a few other members of the Swiss XEO team. So let's take a closer look at them and see if they're worthwhile. Shimano SPDs have been in the market for quite a while and you know what, they're bulletproof. You see my XTRs used for at least a couple of seasons. I absolutely love these pedals. So what does the HT Components Leopard M1 bring to the table? And if color was the first thing that came to mind, yes, HTs come in black just like the Shimanos, but they also come in another 13 colors, including an oil slick finish. Jokes aside, here in the back of the box, you're gonna see that these pedals are made out of CNC aluminum body, and you can have either a steel axle or a titanium axle, and that will be signified here in the nomenclature. You're gonna have M1 or M1T leopard pedals. These are made in Taiwan. You see that tagline over here, and if you scan the QR code, you are just gonna be directed to their main website. All that information is here on the sleeve. Remove it, and in the tiny box, you're gonna find first thing the instructions. This is actually pretty comprehensive. It will tell you how to install the pedals, how to install the cleat, how to adjust the cleat, and how to release from the pedals. And finally here is gonna talk a little bit about our adjustment. One note here, Shimano provides us with SH-51 that's in the box of every pedal. And you also have this SH-56, the multi-release cleats. What that means here, if you look in the Shimano manual, it just shows you that single release mode is very similar to what these HT components provide. So you have to twist your heel outwards as opposed to multi-release mode of the Shimano's, which allows you more opportunities to release your shoe. And I'm mentioning this because even though the HD pedals come with uh, different types of cleats, and by the way, they include adjustment plates and uh, different length screws and things like that, they all work in the same way like this. And that is pretty much the functionality of the single release Shimano cleats. Their cleat system actually includes four options. You can see them on your screen right now. This X1E being specific to more cross country type of riding, it provides four degrees of float. They do have others with eight degrees of float. And again, float is how much wiggle room your shoe is gonna have on the pedal before you actually disconnect. By the way, these SPD cleats from Shimano, they are not compatible with the cleats from HT. So definitely this will not work on the HT pedal. The way this goes, very similar to Shimano. So front end first, then push down on your heel and you're gonna click it in. This looks very, very similar to a Crank Brothers egg beater, if you remember how those look like. And that's quite similar to a Shimano SPD pedal but many say that because of the shape of this front end on the Shimano, it might make it easier to find it as opposed to the HT pedals when you're looking to clip in. Very similar to Shimano, you have a cleat adjustment here. Use a three millimeter Allen, and you can see this little indicator plus or minus. You do have clicks, so you get an idea of how many turns you have from the absolute strongest to the minimal retention. And apparently these cleats have a much stronger retention compared to the Shimano SPDs. If any of you guys have used them or used them both, I would love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Otherwise, the actual platform is very similar to what these XTRs are offering. Spindle length to the middle of the cleat is 55 millimeters on both. As for stack height, seems to be higher on the HT pedals, but we're talking 17 and a half millimeters on the HT pedals. 
versus 15 and a half on the XTRs. Divide that by two and you're gonna have a one millimeter difference. If you look at their documentation, they're gonna be talking about the new Evo Plus bushing. There's a bushing here, there's a needle bearing in here and that's supposed to last forever. You can use this or remove the end cap and uh, you know either tighten the axle or remove it. That's not much different than what Shimano and other manufacturers are using, but what I do know is that these Shimano's last forever. I'm wondering if the HT design ages as well as that. One last piece here would be weight. XTR pedal is 153 grams. These HT with steel axle are 147. So we're talking about less than 10 grams difference between the HT M1s at 294 and the XTRs at 306 grams. However, the HT cleats are 58 or 59 grams and the Shimano saves a few grams over there. So the weight difference between these two pedals is pretty much non-existent. However, remember that if you pay an extra 100 bucks, you can get these ones with the titanium axle and that will save you another 45 grams or so. So 252 grams for the set. So there you have it guys, light quality pedals that are used by Nino. What else is out there? Are you interested in getting a pair? Let me know in the comments below. As usual, if you found this content useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.